Well, hello and welcome everybody. The Minnesota Twins baseball back online and back on the air here on the SSN. Minnesota leads the series 2-0 and we're going for our second series sweep as we're also looking for our fourth win in a row. As you can see here, the Minnesota Twins excuse me, are on a two-game, three-game win streak and a two-game series lead. And uh, as we push closer to the third spot in the AL Central, beating Kansas City, Jesse Peterson's, Jesse Peterson's walk-off winner there, and then the 5-1 to route of the Kansas City Royals. And today at 110, we do have the Kansas City Royals again. I said second series sweep. I do believe this would be our first series sweep as we have lost at least one game in every series, maybe sometimes even four. So, uh, yeah, this would be our first series sweep. Looking at the calendar, you can see not even close in Texas. Last time we faced them, not even close, 11-2, to 6-2, 7-2. to, two, six to, two, seven to two. So, yeah, this would be our first series sweep of the season coming here in May. Randy's birthday was yesterday, and we got a 5-1 to one win. So, thank you, boys, for that. After this game today, we go to Baltimore for three where Irvin Santana, Phil Hughes, and Todd Schmidt looking for that winning record. Phil Hughes also a 4-0 uh, starting pitcher. His first foray, if you remember. Uh, Phil Hughes was called up from the bullpen to be the starter at the 4-0 record with a 1.24 ERA. He is now the best starter we have on the roster. So Phil Hughes will get to see what he does. And then uh, we go back home for Tampa Bay and Houston, and then we're away for three series against Los Angeles Angels, the Seattle Mariners, and the San Francisco Giants. I'm very looking forward to this being at that stadium in San, San Francisco. But uh, as you can see, MLB Network highlights, so we're very struggling in prime time. And then next month, uh, two months from now, actually, we have the All-Star break and we'll be in target field like we keep saying. But right now, the Minnesota Twins going for their first series sweep. I'm sure the brooms will be out in uh, droves today, and uh, we leave the series 2-0. This has been Randy Replay. I will see you in just a moment. Ah, hello and welcome, everybody. It's here in this building, the Human Age Humphrey Metrodome, that we saw and now, your Minnesota twin. one of the greater comebacks and then the rout of Kansas City in this series. But today... It's all about Derek Fahey, and then can we get the sweep? Of course, the fans are here. The fans are here early, and they're loud. Derek Fahey takes the mound coming up. Derek Fahey in eight starts. He is 0-4. He does have a 5.47 ERA. He has pitched 51 innings, 58 hits allowed, a 1-2-9 whip, eight walks, and 51 strikeouts on the season. I do believe this will be one of his last chances here to prove himself as the Twins are wearing their 1978 home jerseys here today. He will face Lorenzo Cain in the series. He's one for nine, only a single, carrying a 2-4-3 average into this one. So Lorenzo Cain is first to go up against Derek Fahey here. Top of the first inning, first pitch, 1-11 p.m., and it's a changeup for a strike. Getting off to a late start here, there's Richard Salty covering second base. So the pregame took a little bit longer, so a minute to be exact. This one will go to Peterson. Peterson will throw on two. That's Richard Salty covering first base, sorry. Out number one. Luis Gonzalez out of action today. Here is how the Kansas City Royals will line up. Lorenzo Cain, Billy Burns, Eric Hosmer, Brandon Moss, Soler, Moustakis, Escobar, Pena, and Whit Merrifield rounding out the ninth spot. Billy Burns leads Royals in stolen bases with 10 at 97 speed, carrying a 280 average with a one home run into this one. We need to get this guy out before he reaches base. There's a curveball from Derek Fahey down low, strike one. Umpire and crew, Earl Hendricks there behind the mound. Home plate, sorry. Uh, Clyde Washington at third, Woody Keller and Ed Drummond at first and second, respectively. So good crew today. Hopefully going to call some good strikes for the Minnesota Twins as the changeup goes for a strike as we take a look. Perfect placement, Nehemiah Rozu calling for it. So just one more here. He wants something low in the zone. He moves accordingly. Billy Burns pops one up. Tevin Fair fielding in left field. Catches it. Out number two of this first inning. The fans are here today. 
where I'm positioned, I have a good view of left field and the third baseline. There's not too many seats. So Eric Hosmer, the pesky Eric Hosmer in this series, four for eight with an RBI 304 average. So Eric Hosmer, he's not quite as pesky as uh, that dude from the White Sox, but he is still pesky. Ryberg down to Salty, inning over. So Eric Hosmer held in check here as Keith Ryberg will end the first inning for the Kansas City Royals. Again, no hits, no runs. Bottom of the first we go. Minnesota Twins do up. So the hot, hot bat of Jesse Peterson continues, but Nate Carnes eight starts, one and three record. 4-6-1 ERA, so we'll have a good opportunity. 50 hits allowed, 1-5-9 whip, 15 walkouts and 30... Seven strikeouts. Walkouts are not a thing. <laughs> but here we go. The hot bat of Jesse Peterson here on the metronome turf. Obviously faring better against a left-hander. Has a lower average, but more home runs as he will face a righty today. So a four-seam, a knuckle curve, a changeup. Nothing too crazy here. Ooh. First pitch backing him off the mound. Is that... Is that for beating them yesterday? You have to do uh, believe. So the knuckle curve and the changeup will give us some problems, but I do believe Jesse Peterson can suffice as he will hit it back up the middle. Spinning throw in time. Out number one of the inning. So we are using our old style batting helmets as here's Smeagol. It's Justin Lewis, Tevin Fair, Nehemiah Rosu at the five spot. Steve Nyland, Keith Ryberg, Josh Fitzer will DH, and Richard Salty will cover first for Luis Gonzalez. A healthy scratch. No injuries uh, reported there. Third in the American League with a 3-3-3 average coming into this one, despite having two home runs and 14 RBIs. So looking to get that number up here. We'll see what he does here. First pitch. Fastball. Swung on and fouled away. Looking to get this hit. A high fastball was the first guess. Then changed it, so we'll see. Knuckle curve missing the catcher wildly. One and one now. Fifth pitch of Nate Carnes Day, sorry. Ooh, just foul. That would have been a good hit. So here we go, knuckle curve down low, two straight knuckle curves after the high fastball. Let's see what he does here, Nate Carnes pitch. Down low in the dirt, 2-2. Two, two. Will he go back outside or will he set up something inside? We will find out here. Let's make him. Swinging on it, we'll chop it to third. He'll throw over, out number two. Okay, so. We go down two here. Center fielder, Justin so here's Lewis. Justin Lewis. They purposely put him there. He's three for eight with three singles, batting 319. Six home runs tied for the lead with Jesse Peterson. Now, pregame, he said, I'm going to hit a home run today. And I'm going to take this lead here in this uh, team. Curveball. Blooped, chopped, whatever you want to call it. Carnes' throw in time. And Justin Lewis is fuming over there at first base. So at the end of one, the Twins do nothing. Tevin Fair carrying a 318 average, still looking for his first home run of the season. Two RBIs. He's been up here for just about a month, and we'll see what he can do here. The fans love him. Got a very good on-base percentage, and uh, we'll see what he can do here. Tevin Fair looking for his first home run. He definitely has the power in the bat. All right, Kyra. up. The uh, fans starting the Let's Go Twins chant. Of course, he likes to hit it to left field a lot. We'll see what he does here, though. Ooh, change up down low. That is our bugaboo pitch, if you will, and unhappy about that one. We'll see where Carnes decides to go here. If it's a waster. And it is, but he swings at it and uh, throws on to first. Out number one. Batting fifth. Number 22. So here comes Nehemiah Rozu. This is how the Kansas City Royals will line up defensively. Hosmer over there at first. Carnes is the pitcher. Escobar at shortstop. And Lorenzo Kane out there in center field. 
Here's Nehemiah Rozu carrying a 327 average, one home run, three RBIs. I do believe that one home run came in the Texas Rangers stadium. And uh, we'll see what he can do here against Nate Carnes. First pitch fastball down low. Now the uh, knee high um, strike. It's very small strike zone here for Nehemiah Rozu, as you can see from the overlay there. We'll see what he does here. Carnes. Nehemiah Rozu gets a little bit of the change up down low. So keeping everything low here in the zone, he has to go up eventually. We'll see what Carnes does here. Rozu with a grounder. Easy play and easy out. Oh, down to our last out here in the second. This will be Steve Nyland, who is a home run threat. In the series, he's five for eight with a home run and a double. So having a very good series here. He also hit that uh, game-tying home run, and then Jesse Peterson came up after uh, Richard Salthy and hit the game winner. But his first outing will be a fly out to left field. That will end the inning. So at the end of two, still no runs, no hits for the Minnesota Twins. Pena, Merrifield, and Lorenzo Cain do up for the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> Keith Ryberg, 318 average, no home runs, six RBIs. High on base percentage, so very, very good at hitting here is Keith Ryberg. Fouls one off on a wheel. Oh, okay, that just went off a fan's knee. You saw it. Oh, my heavens. We are going to actually take a live replay. The reaction from the crowd was not good. We're going to actually, I think from my perspective up here, of course, utilizing the Randy drone, um, it looked like a knee. We're going to actually take a look. So Ryberg hits it. You hate to see this, but we're going to actually see where this popped out. Okay, so it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, so right off that fan that's not really paying any attention. And he does not even flinch. I'm going to I'm going to clap for that, man. He does not even flinch. So good job, Bunny. Let's see if we can sign him there. <laughs> Keith Ryberg. Strike two. Uh, Keith Ryberg, after that, has switched his bat to a dark bat. Um, we'll see what that does here. Might have even broken it. There's a down low fastball taken for a ball. Good eye, Keith Ryberg. Keeping everything low to him. See what he does here. Nate Carnes, 20th pitch of the day. Is a low changeup, and that will uh, result in the out by uh, the catcher. Coming up for the Minnesota Twins, we do have a series against Ori uh, the Baltimore Orioles. Then we have an off day Thursday, and then weekend series here at home against the Tampa Bay Rays. So here comes Josh Fitzer. Four home runs, two on the road, two here in this building. Playing a little bit better on the road here, but uh, we'll see what he does here. Carrying a 299 average. He loves to hit him right near the press box here. Of course, his two home runs going over the baggie out there in right field. So Josh Fincer, number 99. Here's the 22nd pitch of Nate Carnes' day. He will chop one to first base. It is a put out. That's out number two. So Richard Salfi do up hitting ninth in the order, and then it goes back up to the top with Jesse Peterson. Richard Salter. 261 average, five home runs. He's still one home run back of the lead, looking to get another one here. He is pumped up, always pumped up on the plate. Of course, has that hitting sleeve on his right arm. There's the first pitch ball, so... Excuse me, good eye there as Caribou Coffee refuels me. Change up, fouled away, low again. So keeping everything low on Richard Salty. Very early timing, foul tipped. We'll see what Salty can do with this pitch. Salty. No, that, oh, he dropped it. Salty's going for two. It is a Richard Salty double. I thought that would be it, but that is a double. Oh, my heaven. So the error picked up. And here's Jesse Peterson with runners on base. He is amazing. 
Six home runs on the season. Looking for his seventh in a big spot here, bottom three. Nate Carnes, first flip. Oh, no, a knuckle curve outside, swung on. Swung on, knuckle curve, and missed. Jesse Peterson strikes out, ends the inning. So a very, very exciting third inning, thwarted by Nate Carnes. On three pitches that should have been balls, just missing that one. Can't fault him there. End of three, no score. <laughs> oh, strike out number 52 of the season, and Billy Burns has some words for the umpire, holding his bat like a weapon. We're going to actually Eric take a look at this. Hosmer. Eric Hosmer do up, but that looked to be off the plate, but called a strike, got him looking. Nevertheless, Fahey and Reichert very, very good at getting guys out at the plate. There's a chopper. Oh, Nyland on the bouncer. Throws it to Salfi. Out number two. Baseball logic says you go after this guy. Yeah. Then he got it, 53. And he's holding his bat like a weapon again. You got to be careful, Brandon Moss. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. Derek Fahey, 53rd strikeout. Bottom four coming up. Is Smeagol. Curveball. Taken back up the center, and that will fall. Base hit. On his way to second, but he turns back. That is a single. So far today, the Twins have a double and a single. Two hits. It's home run leader with six. Tied with Jesse Peterson. Oh, double play. No, he missed the tag, but what a catch. Nate Carnes edging Derek Fahey in pitch speed. I thought he got the tag on him, but here's Tevin Farrow for one struck out last time up. Fans are getting into it. We'll see what happens. So a lot of room off to that left side. Checked his swing, didn't go around, held up nicely. So lots of room over left field here for Tevin Fair if he can muscle up on one here. See what he does. Ball two. Two and oh to Tevin Fair here. First time a batter has been in the lead. Two and oh. Smeagol does have stealing ability. I don't think he's gonna go here though. Tevin Fair. Hi, pop up. You have to keep with it. They dropped a ball earlier, but he will tag up. Stay at first base. So down to our final out here of the fourth. Here's Nehemiah Rozu. Carrying a pretty good average. See what he does. And that will fall. That should be a double. Smeagol. Oh, on his way home, he's turning around because the throw would have got him. So we do have runners on second and third. And another Minnesota Twins double. Nehemiah Rozu. Right into right field. Good hit. Fair ball in the corner. So here we go. Steven Nyland has a home run in the series and a double. Ooh, they thought that one was gone, but it was a... Hop back. Low change up. Steven Nyland, the fans are into it here for you, buddy. Inside change up. Take it for a ball. Good, good eye. So Steven Nyland. Fans are making noise. Consistently. Another ball. Change up outside. Two and one to Nyland. That two-tone bat with the ring in the center, the silver ring. Or white, however the light hits it. Nylon! This should be two-run score. Double RBI single. <gasps> or a two-RBI single, however you want to look at it. Minnesota Twins lead 2 nothing. Nylon with a home run, a double, and now a single with two RBIs in the series. What a hit. Open field in the left. He went opposite, and he did it. Steven Nylon drives in another pair, and here's Keith Ryberg. Keith Ryberg, they are going to move their defense now. Down low, ball one. Something will happen here. Ryberg, 
out. Number three. But the Twins strike for two in this inning thanks to Steven Nyland, who has proven to be the series MVP if we get the win. I mean, he's helping us get back into these games. He's now responsible for three points in the series. The end of four. Twins lead 2-0. Training camp is underway, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And there's number 54. I am not doing my job here. Randy Replay caught up on other things going on here in the SSN, and there is another strikeout, 54 on the season for Derek Fahey. That's the most important thing for the Twins pitchers here, especially when you're going up against a division rival. And there's should be a single. He might even push this to two. Tevin Fair late. No throw. No throw. Tevin Fair, no throw. Still no throw. And he's not going to throw it in. Very weird. So maybe glitch in the matrix, as it were. Here's Alcides Escobar for Derek Fahey. Pop up. Going to Tevin Fair. Should catch it. He does. Gets a running start. Now he throws it in. We'll cheer. We'll cheer up here in the booth. Two outs now running at second base. And Brian Pena. Brian Pena. Pena, sorry. Looks like he has some power, but he's not doing too much here in the series or on the season. Ground ball. Nylon. Selfie inning over. So, again, I'm going to cheer a lot in this game. This We're going for our first series sweep, baby. In the bottom of the fifth, Salty, uh, Fitzer Salty Peterson do up. Only allowing two hits as Derek Fahey threw five. He's got a good start here. So today, Caribou brought in their perennial blend. It is their spring mix, getting you ready for summer here in Twins territory. So be sure to pick up a cup of the perennial blend. It's a uh, very good mixture of flavors. Fruity and good. Salty. Oh, right near the hands. Ill-advised swing, but there's out number one. And the underhand toss by Eric Hosmer. So Jesse Peterson, we'll see what he does here. Nobody has hit into more double plays than Jesse Peterson. That trend almost continued, but it fouls away. So that is a changeup down low. Nate Carn showing his hand early. He wants to keep everything low. We'll see what he does here. Another foul away. Was that a changeup? I do believe it was down low. Jesse Peterson going to have to avoid striking out for the second time here in this one. Knuckle curve swung on. Good timing. Just fouled it back. Josh Fitzer at first. One out. Bottom five. Two nothing twins. 49th pitch of Carnes' day is a pop-up foul. Looks like it will reach the seats, as it were, and he has to go up against his own bench. So a high fastball may be throwing off Jesse Peterson's timing. That missed, oh, ball. fastball. It missed. One and two to Peterson. Excuse me. I do warn you, if you do get the perennial blend, I find that this coffee makes Randy a little bit more gassy than normal. Another pop-up. Foul territory. Bullpen. Dropped. It's dropped. Oh, my goodness. Josh Fitzer went for two, but then had to come back. So maybe a little spiting there for Josh Fitzer. Inside changeup. Hey, guess what? We are not in a 2-2. Two -two. So 2-2 two -two here to Jesse Peterson. Fitzer goes. Fitzer goes. Ball. Helmet comes off, and he is tagged at second. Ooh, but at home plate, it's knotted up. 3-2 on deck. Smeagol, no outs. Uh, two outs, sorry. 2-2, two, two, two outs, bottom of the fifth. Swung on, back into the uh, um, padding of the catcher. Tenth pitch of the at-bat. What will happen? 55th pitch. Swung on. Base hit. Oh, my goodness. It took ten pitches, but Jesse Peterson gets on base with two outs, and here comes Smeagol. So a good on base for Jesse Peterson as he pumps his fist. Struck out last time. Here's one for two. Smeagol Axberg singled in the fourth. Now, if he gets a, a double here, that will score Jesse Peterson. No stranger to doubles are the Minnesota Twins. First pitch, ball. 
Now, do you get aggressive? You have somebody with a ton more speed than Josh Fitz or first base and Jesse Peterson who needs stolen bases this season. I think we do here. As the pitch out, ooh, they're looking for it. Jesse Peterson. 2-0 to Smeagol, though, at the plate. 58th pitch of Nate Carnes' day upcoming. It's a hit. And a catch to end the inning. So that is how this inning will end. At the end of five, it's still 2 nothing Twins. Merrifield, Kane, and Burns do up. I say you go right back at it. Another changeup down low. Nobody can hit it. Curveball swung on into the alleyway. Yes, into that driveway. The fans love shots that go into the driveway for some reason. Of course, in the Metronome 1.0. That is the, uh, there's a the ground ball towards that big milk jug. Uh, that is where Randy Replay went to go get his seats from the original Metrodome. Ooh, oh. another ball. The, uh, the same seats that are positioned here in the stands. So very good building. Another one into the driveway. The fans love it. So does Randy. So two at-bats here. Two pitches of this at-bat went into the driveway. Another one. Smago. It's off the wall. He missed it on the bounce back. This one could be three. Yes, it is indeed three. And we have a triple to deal with now. But there's any saving grace. Billy Burns is up to bat. Not have the best record or average. And he will not go for it. So there is two to one lead now for the Twins. Derek Fahey, 55. No. Said it'll be off the wall. This is a tie game. Smeagol judging, throwing the throw to second, and missing. So it's a tie game now, 2-2. Two, two. Fahey with some gas to cut her. There's 55 on the season. Wowzers. Ends the inning, but they do strike for two. Both teams have five hits now and two runs. Bottom of the six, Louis Fair Rozu do up. 60th pitch of Carnes' day. Lewis. It gets down, base hit. It's a fair ball. Very, very good hit by Lewis. But now that double play ball creeps in, you got to get a good hit here. The left fielder, number two, Tevis Fair. Here's Tevin Fair. Struck out last time up in the fourth. He is 0 for 2 today. We're going to keep him in. No reason to take him out here. Here we go. Tevin Fair will slightly chop this thing. No, he doesn't get it. Carnes doesn't corral it. Now we have a minfield single, and Carnes is getting taken out of the game. But before that can happen, he's got to relinquish that ball. Gets a butt slap, and uh, Carnes exits as uh, his reliever. Jason Vargas comes in. He's got a 2-2 record through 12 games. No saves. 476 ERA. 45 and one-thirds innings pitch. He's getting some booze here. 30 strikeouts surrendering good numbers to the batters. Specifically righties, where we do have a lot of right-handed batters here in today. Nehemiah Rosu, one for two, double in the fourth. We need another one of those. That double play ball creeps in. He has a four-seam fastball, two-seamer, circle change, and a knuckle curve. Rosu into the gap. It falls! Bases are loaded after some confused base running, but the bases are loaded now. And guess what? There's no outs. Bases loaded. Steven Nyland do up. It's Steven Nyland. No outs. Bottom of the sixth. First pitch ball. So Steven Nyland has a big opportunity, the first grand slam of the year for the Twins. Nyland, big hit, could score a run. No, not going to try it. Even though might have made it. Oh, could have, would have, should have, but didn't. That's still only one out, though, in this inning. Number four. 
So here is Keith Ryberg, known to hit uh, singles here. Keith Ryberg. Oh, fouled away off the first base line. Low change up. Very interesting call there. Outside circle change. One on one. So on base, Rozu Fair Lewis, first, second, third. On deck, Josh Fitzer, one out. Bottom of the sixth. So this reliever has not been doing a good job. Good timing, and it is a double! Keith Ryberg with a base-clearing double almost as uh, Nylon and Fitzer will come in to score. Wowzers! Nylon and, Nylon and Lewis, sorry. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, Josh Fitzer's coming up to bat. I don't understand, but uh, Keith Ryberg with a very, very important double into that open field of left. So here's Josh Fitzer with another big spot. They're going to walk him. Uh, they're calling for the intentional walk, of course. And the bases are hashtag matrix reloaded. Oh, my goodness. Why would you reload the bases after we just almost had a base clearing double? Richard Salty. Richard Salty. Bases reloaded for the power threat. Richard Salty. I don't understand. But nevertheless... Southie, single, and we score another one. Oh, my goodness. Richard Southie just over the head of the third baseman. And uh, another RBI this inning. That's three of them this inning. Oh, my goodness. Jesse Peterson has a chance to hit the first grand slam for the Minnesota Twins. And guess what? He has a chance to take the home run lead of the team, the team, the team, the team, the team, the team, the team. Hit a single last time. It took 10 pitches. Peterson, first hit fouled into the driveway. No, into the fans. You heard the gasp of, uh, oh, Nelly. One out still. Jesse Peterson, although leads the team in hitting into the double play. Do you have to take that into account? Peterson, big hit, left center. It is, he tagged up and he's gonna throw the run scores after the drop. So after the tag up, the run scores, it's a sacrifice fly RBI for Jesse Peterson. And now the Twins have a commanding six to two lead as here's Smeagol. Two outs, Jesse Peterson hit the sack fly, very good play, he hit it hard, hit it deep, everything you wanna do. And so an inning where the Twins have not had um, more than two base runners on at any time after the first two guys have hit, so good rotations coming. Smeagol, fair ball down the third base line, we got his guy on. We're not sending the guy to third, but guess what? 72 lead Minnesota Twins. Wowzers! And it's back up to Justin Lewis. Where, guess what? He said he would hit a home run today. Don't want to call him a liar, but we'll see what he does. Lewis. Diving miss! Keep him at third. Keep him at third. Thank you. And guess what? The bases are hashtag Matrix Reloaded. <laughs> and it's back up to Tevin Fair. One for three, singled in the six. Lots of batters have faced... This reliever with much success here today. Excuse me. Now, Tevin Fair does not have a home run this season. Wouldn't it be nice to get one here? Two-seamer. And if you came out to this game, I, I'm just so happy for you. You're getting a good outing here. Fair. Foul ball. Oh, just missing, and he is clapping. Out of frustration, you have to believe. Twins love hitting it into that little driveway. The fans love it. And when you don't do it, you get a little angry. Inside fastball taken. Ball two. Two one to Tevin Fair. Wouldn't it be nice to hit his first home run in a grand slam? Let's do it here, Tevin. What's what's stopping you, man? Tevin Fair, straight pop up. That will be the end of the inning. Unless he drops it, which he doesn't. 
So we do damage here, adding five runs and a whole mess load of hits. Seven to be exact. At the end of six, Twins lead 7-2. Moustakis, Escobar, and Pena do up. Missing that corner, but he snuck it in. Here we go. Fahey. 56! Wowzers! Fahey goes out with a blast! Derek Fahey. 56 strikeouts on the season, and that will be it for Fahey. As we are going to sit Buddy Boucher's and bring in Trevor May. So Derek Fahey, an amazing game. Only allowing two runs on five hits. Excuse me, as Paul Molitor comes out, he will retrieve the ball from Fahey. And there is no ovation. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you one, Fahey. Fahey. Okay, the little ovation from the fans as he tips his cap. But now enter Taylor... Trevor May, sorry. Oh, gosh. 13 games, one and one record. One save, 5-4-0 ERA. He loves it here. 23 innings and one-thirds pitched. 29 strikeouts rendering good numbers. Popped up. Ryberg, part of two outs here. If he catches it, and he does. Inning over. Wowzers. So now it's time for your seventh inning stretch. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. <laughs> and your caribou code is spring. Yeah, spring, spring to the caribou booth outside of the broadcast booth for your 35% off any caribou cup of perennial blend coffee. So here we go. Or any cup of coffee, but I suggest the perennial. And here is double and a single. Nehemiah Rozu popped up. Goes towards second, but it's caught. Now, these Minnesota Twins might be throwing some Number shade three. at the Royals as uh, Stephen Nyland comes up, but <laughs> they're continuing to run on base due to all the drops. <laughs> Stephen Nyland. Back up the middle. This will fall and not go towards the wall, but that'll be a single for Nyland, and the fans love it. Curveball, back up the middle. It is through base hit Ryberg. And there you have it. Throws into third. Upstairs, two balls, one strike. Salty, big shot. Towards the wall, it is gone! Off the top of the wall, Richard Salty! Three-run shot, 10-2 lead. Minnesota Twins off the wall, bounces back up. And oh my goodness, what a moonshot. Well, not really. It was more like a line drive. But guess what? The Minnesota Twins have another home run on the season, and it's Richard Salty. Sixth of the season, he is now tied in a three-way tie for the lead of Jesse Peterson and Justin Lewis. So Richard Salfi, third straight game for the Twins on with a home run in the game after an eight-game drought. It's kind of a moonshot, really, to be honest. And that just hits the top of the wall and bounces up into the 20th row. And guess what? It's Jesse Peterson due up. And you just love to see games like this where they just blow out the other team. Jesse Peterson, deep shot, center field. It will be caught, and finally the inning is over, but we do do damage, hitting for another three runs as Richard Salty. Not sure as it left the bat. It looked good, and it carried. Boom. We are going to get some bullpen action going. I don't know why, but uh, Joe Nathan will warm up in the bullpen. There you go. One for three, single the RBI, scored a run. Billy Burns. Did Billy Burns strike? Fans don't like it. Of course, uh, the fans see what you see. We have a pitch tracker, and there's another one. This could be a double. Another double for for Burnsy. As Lewis will throw, the, this is a triple. He's got such great speed. So it's 10 to 3 now. Right now. Ah. And he went around. Another strikeout this inning for Trevor May. Wowzers! See if he actually did. 
Yes, indeed. That is well past the plate. And that is another strikeout for Trevor May. Getting out of this inning. Where we saw one run cross the plate already. It's a ball. Fans don't like it. And come on, Ump! Lots of boozes you can hear coming. Smeagol has a chance to put this one away. He's got to beat on it. He runs towards the warning track. He catches it hitting over. So we get out of the eighth. On to the ninth we go, but... Billy Burns, or Burnsy, however you want to say it, hits a triple. He now has two doubles and a triple. Fair. Here's Tevin Fair, one for four, singled in that big sixth inning. That gigantic sixth inning where we saw almost uh, eight runs cross the plate. Tevin Fair, first home run of the year for Tevin Fair on the first pitch he sees. 11 to 2 twins win uh, uh, twins lead sorry and that is tevin fair's first major league home run i do hope we can get that ball back so we can put it in his trophy case but understandably if we if understanding uh, under under uh uh you you get what i'm trying to say it's understandable if we don't and rosu drops his bat and congratulates tevin fair is tevin fair he's is he He's tearing up. Is he? We just wiped his eyes. It's very emotional. 409 foot moonshot to left center. Look at those fans. Oh my heavens! And you can just feel the shift in motion here for the Minnesota Twins as that goes into row number seven. Tevin Fair getting the old treatment as every Minnesota Twins player does. Like what? No love? No love? Ah, uh, we're just kidding, buddy. There you go, Tevin Fair. First home run of the season and third home run in the game. I do believe, maybe, no, maybe, uh, no, second home run of the game. I do apologize. I'm getting ahead of myself. Joe Nathan. I don't know why, but 22 games, 0 1 record, saves zero, ERA of 4 4 3, 20 and 1 thirds, 20 strikeouts. You have to believe this is just to get him some practice. And, uh, We'll see what he does here as he will take one warm-up pitch as he singles to the home plate, and it's a strike. So Nathan gets his warm-up pitch, and he is ready to go here. Merrifield will get his batting information shortly unless he uh, gets out here. Nathan, strike number one. 0 for 3, popped out in the seventh. Would love to get him to pop out here. Nathan slider, nasty slider and a nasty swing. Fans behind home plate and all throughout Minnesota Twins territory on their feet. Metrodome version 2.0, home to magic. First series sweep, One ball, two strikes. not over. I'm gonna start saying that here. Randy Replay announces first series sweep. Complete, no Nathan with a strikeout. And the Twins win 10-3, completing the sweep. I don't know about you, but Randy is hoisting the broom. We'd like to uh, encourage everybody to stick around as we travel to Baltimore tomorrow. As the uh, <coughs> outfielders come together, you have to love this four-game win streak in the Minnesota Twins. After losing eight in a row, they come back with a four-game win streak and are showing that they are a dominant force to be reckoned with despite being bottom of the barrel here in the AL Central. Excuse me. So the winning pitcher, Derek Fahey, his first. Last goes to Carnes. They're both, excuse me, one and four on the season. 11 and three, 11, two, three. And uh, here we go. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Quinn. 11 runs, 16 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For Kansas City, three runs on nine hits. One error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. So it took three hours and 36 minutes to complete, oh, but the Minnesota Twins complete, Twins complete their first the series as well as sweep bus routes on the as uh, the 11 to three win the over the Kansas City Royals. Got a little interesting there in the uh, fifth South. inning. Um, Minnesota Twins, uh, or in the sixth inning, Kansas City Royals tied it up, but then the next 
three innings we go on a tear, scoring nine points to uh, close it out. And here we go, Minnesota Twins. Richard Southey, two for four, home run. Four RBIs in the game and won't score to run. Tevin Fair, two for five, his first home run, RBI, score to run. Nice. Keith Ryberg, two for four, a double, two RBIs, scored two runs in this game. And Nehemiah Rozu, two for five, a double, scored a run. Billy Burns, two, uh, actually, the winning pitcher of today's game, Derek Fahey, he gets his first win. He's one for four on the season. Six and one-thirds innings pitch, five hits, two runs, two earned. No walks and six strikeouts, giving him 57 on the season. Sorry. Uh, Billy Burns, two for four, a triple, two RBI scored a run. Lorenzo Kane, two for four, a triple scored a run. Brandon Moss, two for four, two doubles with an RBI. And Mike Moustakis, one for four with a double. Nate Carnes is your loser. He falls to one and four. Five innings pitch, seven hits, four runs, four earned, three strikeouts, no walks. Your player of the game today, as selected by Majestic, is Richard Salty. Again, scoring uh, another run. Four RBIs and a home run. So very, very interesting. Richard Salty, two home runs in... Um, I was going to say in this series, but I do believe it's in this building. I'm. Don't quote me on that, but guess what? Minnesota Twins pick up the win. Going to get you back to the main screen where we will preview the next three games and uh, get you ready for everything Baltimore versus Twins. This has been Randy Replay. See you in just a moment. And hello and welcome back to the main screen. The uh, Minnesota Twins enjoy victory yet again. We'll get everything in the uh, division quickly. But next game, it's 2-5 and five, Irvin Santana against 2-4 and four, Wade Miley. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that as your 16-27 and 27 Minnesota Twins take on the 19-24 and 24 Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore. So looking ahead at the calendar, we have three against Baltimore, and then we come back home after a day off on Thursday to face the Tampa Bay Rays. Randy Replay's second favorite team. Uh, both teams having some struggles here, 16-27 and 27 Twins, 19-27 and 27 Tampa Bay Rays. And then we have Houston at home for three, the uh, now struggling here, dropping some games, have the Houston Astros since we last checked in, of course, that MLB Network game. On Monday, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. In the division, as you can see, we're 12 and a half games back, one game away, or one, a half game back from the Royals at uh, 17 and 27. We sweep them just as we needed to, and then we are four games behind Chicago, and then uh, 12 games behind those pesky Tigers. So uh, there's still some work to do, but guess what? The good thing about baseball is it is a long season and there is lots of opportunities. We still have one, two, three, four. Four months of baseball left. Oh, my goodness. This has been Randy Replay once again. Our Minnesota Twins victorious. As uh, We're having some fun here. Come on, you have to give it to me. We just completed our first series sweep. Minnesota Twins win 11-3, to sweeping the... Kansas City Royals, and completing a four-game win streak. This has been Randy Replay. I will see you in the next one.